In this video, we'll be going over user groups. User groups are a user management feature. It makes it easier for super users to manage permissions and other user account settings for a group of users all at once. It is important to note that only super users can manage other users and user groups. To operate the user application, the super user will need to open the host application. When a super user logs into Finn, they will be directed directly to the host application where they will find the user tab in the left hand column. Furthermore, super users may also open the host application in the advanced app section. To create a user group, switch over from the users tab to the groups tab and select the create button to begin creating a new group. A pop-up called new group will be displayed. The short name property field sets up a shorthand alias for the group. The short name must be formatted using camel case. The group name property field is for the full length group name. Down below, the user role describes what role level the group has in their operations. SU users have full unrestricted access to all host and project app functions. Admin users can make project database writes or changes and issue actions or commands. Operator users are set to read only when viewing the project database, but they can command points through the action menu with given permissions. The select a color property allows you to select a color to represent the group. The time zone section below allows you to select a time zone from the drop down menu. And the final language section below is used to determine what language will be displayed in the user interface for this particular group. After filling out the form, select the blue Create button to create the group. Once the group is created, it will be displayed in the Groups tab. So now that we have a group created, we can go over how to edit a group. In order to edit the group essentials and application permissions, select the Edit User button. A pop-up window called Edit User will open that represents the user group settings. This window contains three sections. The first is the essential section, which is used for editing the core information of the group. The second access permission section allows you to use folio filter strings to set up the user permissions and access for each access type. The third section is the custom property section, which can be altered based on the user group's requirements. Now let's go over creating a new user and assigning it to a group. Start by selecting the user tab. Click on the Create button to create a new user. Fill in the username, first and last name, and the email according to the user. At the very bottom, you will see there is a user group dropdown. This optional dropdown menu will define which user group the user belongs to. If selected, the user's time zone and language will automatically be matched to the group settings. When the new user is created, they will be prompted to reset their password. A temporary password will be assigned but after the first successful login to Finn, the user will be directed to create their own personal password. Once a user is successfully assigned to a group, the user tile will display the name and color associated with its given user group. Two new lines will be shown next to the user icon. The group line will contain the group name and color, plus the group's user role. The time zone line will contain the group's time zone and it will be underlined using the group's given color. Select the Edit User button to view the group's properties on the user. If the user has group properties, it will be displayed in the group's color. A user may turn off the group properties by clicking the buttons matching the group color. If the button is transparent, the group setting is not active upon that particular user. Conversely, if it is colored solid, then the group setting is currently overriding any other user selection. Groups can also be applied to existing users. To do this, select the Edit User button on the pre-existing user you'd like to assign the group to. Click on the User Group drop-down menu to display a list of available groups. Once a group is selected, the group's properties will be displayed. Select which group properties will override the pre-existing user properties. If the group property is active, it will be a solid color. Once done, select the Save button to apply all changes. If you'd like to remove a user from a group, you can do so by selecting the Edit User button. In the Edit User pop-up, click on the User Group drop-down menu and select the NA option to remove the user from any previously selected group. Then, select the Save button to apply all changes. 
So those are all the basics on how to use the user group management feature. It's a great feature for managing multiple users all at once within one or multiple group settings. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more detailed videos on the many powerful features available in the Fin framework. We hope you have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching.